Condors have graced the California skies with their nine-foot wingspan for millennia. Soaring high above the jagged rocks and valleys of San Benito County, they scavenge for food and play in the hot updrafts that sweep through Pinnacles National Monument and the surrounding area. But condors are only now beginning to recover. In 1987, their numbers had dwindled to a mere 27 birds. Though lead and other hazards continue to challenge the recovery effort, today the condor is coming back in force. 366 now flourish in the western United States and Mexico, with 26 in pinnacles alone. Responsible in part for this impressive recovery are the men and women of the Pinnacles Condor crew. Through tracking, health checks, food supplementation, and more, they work to develop a condor flock that is safe, wild, and self-sufficient. This is their story. I'm Dan Ryan. Um, I'm a condor biologist. I work out here at Pinnacles National Monument. I was raised in, uh, on a farm north of San Francisco. And we raised birds mostly, and that's, I got into birds that way. My job is to monitor the condors within the park, so that's what we're doing. We're up here to check on these guys, take a look at their health, make sure there's nothing screwy with them. All the birds look great. Health is good. Um, normal behavior is all the way across and ready to head back down. My name is Alicia Welch. I work as a crew leader for the California Condor Recovery Program here at Pinnacles National Monument. And today we're hiking up into the high peaks to take signals for condors and hopefully we will be able to determine where some of them are. Whenever I first get here, I always take out my binoculars and look around and see if I can find any. Usually this is the first spot that we take signals because you can get that first sense of where the birds are. Every day the idea is to be able to get the most coverage and pick up as many birds as you possibly can. So often we will have one person that's up high on a ridge so that they can get signals that are the most expansive. And then we'll have somebody who's down on the ground mobile tracking so that they can go look for birds that are outside of the park. 822 805. 822 805. 822, go ahead. Highway 25 in Bitterwater. Um, seems like they're still soaring around. My name is Jess Auer. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. I ended up in California, the Condor Recovery Program at Pinnacles. We are going mobile tracking, which is what we do when birds go missing. If we haven't heard signals or had visuals of them for a few days. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a full set of signals, so every bird in Central California flock I'm going to scan for. And we've got visuals of 330, 332, and the one we were looking for, 340. So this is a very successful mobile tracking day. I'm Daniel George. I'm the Condor Program Manager here at Pinnacles National Monument. We're going to head over to Big Sur and meet up with the Ventana Wildlife Society crew who trapped three of our birds. Check their transmitters and blood. Come on down. First we'll get a bird into the smaller cage and then we'll get a hoop net over the bird, lift it up, bring the bird into here. We're going to take blood samples and analyze them for lead values. And several birds have transmitter issues. And then we're also going to be looking at feathers and checking lead values in the, in the feather vein as well. One of them came in with high lead, so we need to transport that bird to Monterey. So we want to get him up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Get that hold, I guess, the drag on there. You know, every time we handle a condor, we take a, a blood test and we test it for lead. And pretty much every round of trapping, we have a couple that end up with elevated lead levels. And I think you know, what'll be really interesting to see is if we, we start to see a trend where that starts to go down. And I think if, if I see that while I'm here, that that will definitely be a point where I'll feel like, wow, we're really getting somewhere now. 16.6 .6 milligrams per deciliter, so that's good. We gave this bird three chelation shots. Uh, the value had been brought down by about 10, which is a great sign, so the chelation was working. 